Hello friends, welcome to Mac App School. In this video, we are going to simulate the field-oriented control of VLDC motor. Let us get into the simulation part. So this is the model of uh, BLDC motor driven using FOC controller. So this is the BLDC motor. The only difference between the BLDC motor and the PMSM motor uh, is the type of back EMF. So it can be changed by <coughs> changing the type of back EMF waveform. If it is a sinusoidal, it becomes uh, PMSM, permanent magnet synchronous machine. And if it is trapezoidal, it becomes brushless DC motor. So this uh, brushless DC motor is controlled directly from an inverter. And uh, the inverter is fired from a, I mean, it will be uh, getting its supply from the battery. So the battery that we are using here is 360 volts and the rating of the battery is 100 h So uh, in a FOC controller, basically there will be uh, two loops. One is the outer loop. The outer loop is for controlling the uh, speed and the inner loop is for controlling the currents, the direct access current and potential access current. So there are two currents here and uh, uh, to the direct axis current the reference is given as 0 amps and for the quadrature axis current the reference current will be coming from the outer loop so here we have the outer loop this outer loop uh, will be producing some uh, output based on the speed uh, uh, the actual speed of the machine okay so this omega corresponds to the actual speed of the machine and this reference speed uh, is the reference speed that we give to the uh, model so here we have uh, two inner loops uh, one is for uh, uh, producing the reference voltage direct axis reference, reference voltage and the other one for producing the uh, quadrature axis reference voltage so it will be given as input to the uh, Pax to Clark's transformation block so uh, this pass through tra uh, clock transformation block uh, needs two inputs one is uh, dq naught and the second is the angle theta then finally it will be producing alpha and beta currents and the output is given to uh, the space vector pwm okay so here we have uh, the uh, uh, the stator currents the stator currents are measured this is the stator current the stator current is measured from here so after me measuring the stator currents uh, we are converting that to alpha and beta frames okay the reason for converting that is uh, we cannot compare uh, uh, a varying quantity with a steady state value okay see the reference speed is a uh, constant value uh, whereas the current uh, uh, will be varying in nature since this being a, a sinusoidal waveform it will be varying continuously with respect to time so it cannot be uh, compared directly with a uh, straight line so for that reason we are going for uh, uh, these conversions this will convert uh, the three phase to two phase and this will be converting the two phase to uh, two uh, straight components okay so these are the actual direct axis current and uh, actual quadrature axis current. Um, so let us run the model. So this is the line voltage. This is uh, uh, the speed and this is the torque. So the model is getting compiled. So it is taking some time to get compiled. So the torque that uh, uh, is given here is 5 Newton meter.
model is accelerating okay now it has started to run uh, let us open the scope yes so as you can see the speed is getting settled exactly at the reference value this yellow color represents the uh, reference current and this blue color represents the uh, actual I mean this speed not current and as you can see there's a step here initially the uh, speed reference is 750 rpm and after some time after 2.5 seconds uh, the reference current reference uh, speed changes to 1500 rpm so obviously our system is tracking the reference speed exactly this is the torque and this is the uh, line voltage it is measured across the phases a and b okay. so as you can see uh, the uh, voltage waveforms are, uh, are looking like this and uh, we have uh, these are the uh, phase currents So the same model is available for download in the link given in the description. If you want, you can download it for your purpose. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.